In Creo Parametric 6.0, the results window for topology optimization has been improved, providing enhanced ability to interrogate your optimization results. On the screen is a sample model that I recently optimized. Once the analysis is complete, I can choose to show the results from the mini toolbar for the study. Immediately, the optimization shape is displayed on the screen. Let's explore several new functions available in the results ribbon. Under the response type group, we have a new play button that will animate the optimization sequence. This will play the optimization cycles that resulted in the final shape. In addition, you can choose to save the animation to be used for other purposes. Looking at the optimization results, you'll notice the rough facet shape. In the display group, we have a new button called smear. This function will smoothen the result shape and can be used to improve the overall geometry reconstruction process. You can also tweak the density cutoff value for the ISO surface. The default value is 0.5, but when you smoothen the results using the smear command, it will change it to 0.4. You can now increase or decrease this value to change the results. As part of the enhancement, Creo will now use this cutoff value setting as part of the geometry reconstruction. While displaying the ISO surface results, you can now show the deformation or stress fringe plots directly on the ISO surface. This will make it easy to see how the results model will deform or visualize the areas of high stress in your design. With the stresses displayed, you can now animate the deformation. A new capability is the ability now to control the deformation animation. Choosing the entry field, you can now enter in a new value to increase or decrease the deformation scale. With these enhancements, you can now easily interrogate your results. Whether you're simply smoothing the optimized shape, displaying the stresses on the ISO surfaces, or playing the optimization sequence, these improvements will help you understand and tweak your results before you perform the geometry reconstruction process.